for a real estate tycoon, Marvy Finger's second floor offices in the Los Long Houston office building are as modest as the first apartment buildings he erected nearly 60 years ago, and still owns. I like simplicity and livability, says a 5 foot 5 inch, slightly stooped 86 year old, whose unassuming uniform consists of khakis, Oxford shirt, penny loafers and a Hermes tie offset by a Timex watch. His go-to drink is Johnny Walker Black Scotch and he has a similar taste for value in business too. It's not sustainable, Finger says, of the 25% increase during the COVID-19 pandemic in apartment rents in key Sun Belt cities like Tampa, Austin, Nashville, and Houston. He points to rampant new construction nationwide, with so many buildings springing up that 600, oh oh only units came to market last year, nearly double the previous record. Meanwhile, those federal stimulus checks that fatten renters' wallets have been mostly spent in price increases for other necessities, like energy and food, are competing for their remaining dollars. I am absolutely programming for a major correction, says Finger. That's why this past December he sold half his portfolio, 15, oh, units in Houston, Dallas and Atlanta, to real estate investor Graystar for $2 billion. He thought it was a rich price, equal to about 33 times expected 2022 net operating income, rental income minus expenses, of $60 million. Figuring the package would have fetched some 75% less before COVID-19, Finger concluded, it would be irresponsible not to sell. Yet while Finger was a happy seller, Graystar was a happy buyer, says Kevin Cabrera, its investment director who admires Finger's vigor and calls him a prolific developer. The biggest tail and trend, says Dallas-based real estate consultant Ron Witten, is the undoubling of households as some millennials, including those who moved home during the early pandemic days, leave their parents' nests, and others already out on their own jettison annoying roommates, 